In its first year as a program, the Legacy Hockey Team won nine games in the WDA. The Sabres have already passed that mark with two weeks left in the regular season. As Jeff Roberts reports, Legacy Hockey might be only two years in, but the Sabres have established themselves as one of the best in the West. With a third place finish in the WDA last season, Legacy Hockey made an immediate impact in the region. This winter, no one overlooked the Sabres. You know, we were picked as the preseason number one, which to me doesn't mean a whole lot until you actually uh, drop the puck and play the game. The puck dropped in late November. After starting the season with three wins, two losses, and four overtime games, along came the new year, and the Sabres rattled off eight straight. All four lines have started stepping up and scoring. We just really came together as a team more, it feels like, since the new year. Mario Lamaru took over the program last year, and as its head coach, He's willed methods onto his players that he used when he was their age. Keeping our guys on the edge is about showing up for practice every single day, making sure that no one's comfortable in their position. You know, we, we have a lot of movement within our lineup. You're kind of comfortable being uncomfortable, and I lived pretty much my whole life uh, that way throughout my career, and I just think it was a valuable lesson for me to improve. Not only are they improving on the ice because of effort, the Sabres are also improving because their school has supported them since day one. Everyone was excited to play for their own school and represent them. There was a good following around it within our school, and I think it really just motivated us to play better. I, I think it means a lot to be able to play for your school, and I think it was a great, great thing for our community. You know, you probably added 40 spots for kids to continue to be playing hockey at all three of the schools. The school and community have grown with the program, and now closing in on the end of year two, they're riding success one wave at a time. It's about just showing up. Take care of your next shift, take care of your next game. Don't look too far ahead, but put those pieces in place so we're giving ourselves a chance to compete at the end of the year. Legacy has four games left in the regular season before the WDA tournament. In Bismarck, for your news leader, I'm Jeff Roberts. The first of those four gets going in less than an hour at the VFW Sports Center. Legacy and Century are tied for first in the WDA. Each are on an eight-game winning streak. See the highlights of that one tonight at 10.